fish. What's up guys? Just on the side of a highway, as you can see. Coming down here below it is a small stream. I've never fished down here before, but I've got our micro light tackle and just artificials I have no actual uh, natural baits. I'm gonna be throwing some very small lures in the stream, trying to see if we can get anything out of it. I wanna start over there, we see that big culvert. I wanna try that first. This is what I'm working with right now. Very, very clear water. Uh, but right here, you see this little drop off of the pool here? Honestly, it looks incredibly, looks like it's gonna be slim pickings, but I do see a bit of dust getting kicked up in there like there could be fish. And sometimes the small fish, the bass, the tiny ones are kind of uh, hard to see until they're on your lure. Just have a go, see what happens. Well, it's always cool to see your lure underwater. It's a lot better when you can see fish coming after it. Just kind of hoping if I drop it, maybe let's try right here. This is the second one. It's a big carp down there. You guys see him center frame crossing over? Two of them. It's not what we're fishing for right now. I don't know if I can get him to take an artificial. He might try. Regardless, there's fish in here. So, oh, bingo. There's a bass following him. Okay, this is a good spot. Straight down there, guys. There's two carp and a small bass, at least. This thing must be old. It's just collapsed from the inside. I try not to get too close down here. Luckily, the sun is straight over our heads, so the shadow I'm casting isn't reaching out that way. But yeah, there's a couple of fish in here, guys. I see at least two bass, and I see at least two carp. Maybe three carp. Oh, all right, guys, we're in business. I missed that one, but he uh, he went after it. I was getting kind of disappointed at first. I was thinking we came all this way because I walked down here, guys. I was thinking we came this way for nothing. Yes, fish on. That's a bass. Nice. Stop. It's a good fish. Good fish. Let's get this out of his mouth. There he goes. It's interesting, this is almost too shallow on each end for these fish to get out of. Might come back down here, you know, with some natural baits later and try to catch those carp. See if we can get another one. looked at it and passed it by I see one right there I'm gonna try to cast further away though oh 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 one took it on the drop I missed him I just saw him come up and grab it I saw the flash as he came up for it and then uh, yeah look at that I missed him Oh, something bumped it. Something bumped it again. Honestly, it might be a truly tiny fish in there. It's a couple of small bass in there. It might be something that's, you know, that long. Can't really get a hold of it.
Got him. That's a slightly better one, guys. Look at him go. Yeah, he's not he's not terrible considering uh, how shallow this water is. That's a good fish. Yeah, look at that. That's not too bad at all. Do I need the pliers? No, gotcha. Another really good one. There he goes, look at him. Epic stuff, epic stuff. Let's see how we're doing here with this bait. I'm really liking this uh, red and white. It looks green, that's because some of the uh, green lures I had in the same bag with it kind of bled over to it, which honestly, not a bad thing, to be honest. Chartreuse works really well. A little turtle right there. It's a musk turtle, that's what that is. Anyway, let's go back to it. Fish, no, snag. Can always tell. Sometimes you catch a fish that feels like a snag, but snag never fights back. At some point, the fish should. Tell you what, see these houses? As a kid, this would have been like a dream come true for me. Of course, I can't complain. I grew up next to Oyster Creek. The stones throw away. Literally, I could have actually thrown a stone into it from my back porch, so. Cannot complain. Anyway, I'm going for it. I don't know if you guys can see the edge. Oh, that's a fish on. Got a fish. There he is. I was gonna say I was going for the corner over there. Cause I think that's where a good fish would hide, but this one came out and smashed it. He's pretty. Yeah, it's a good looking fish. There we go. That's the best one so far. Man, that's a good fish. Look, and you guys can see all the marks on their faces from basically being exposed to herons all the time. Constantly getting, you know, stabbed at. Something you'll see with uh, fish in clear, shallow water much more than fish in deeper water is wounds like that. That was absolutely an egret or a heron having to go at this fish. Let's get him back. Somebody was asking me the other day for more underwater footage. Don't get a lot of opportunities for that here. Look at him. Beautiful. Here we go. Everything is so uh, dirty. This water ain't beautiful, that's for sure. Well, it turns out there's a path up here. Which is nice so I can kind of walk along the path and look down there behind me. I think it's going to meet another bayou up ahead. It's going to be a T section kind of or a convergence of water and that's what I want to fish. So we're heading straight down, straight down the path up that way where you see the highway crossing over. That's where we're going. Look out there. See that conjunction right there and there's some waste treatment going on right on the corner. That's always a good sign for fish. Let's get down there.
There's a steady flow coming out of that pipe. Oh, doesn't mean there's any fish in here, but uh, cool to see some small musk turtle over there. Or is that a slider? It's just so tiny. Where'd he go? There he is, right there. That's a slider. He's trying to stay underneath the the weed that I just was messing with. He's trying to hide under that. Doing a pretty good job. You guys might not see this because I'm going to kind of reach down for a second. But I'm going to try to catch him. <clears throat> Got him. Yeah, he's a bitty, itty bitty slider. Covered in covered in weed tiny little guy guys this is loaded with fish I cannot identify them from here wait yes I can oh my god it's like a hundred baby carp look at all those little carp each of those guys are about six inches long and there's just loads of them so many oh my god this is incredible this is incredible wait a minute wait a minute those aren't carp those are tilapia what oh good grief they fooled me for a moment boom look at him go they fooled me for a moment because they had that pale appearance and a little red on their tail. So I saw them from a distance. I was like, oh, carp. But no, they're all tilapia, which goes to prove, guys, um, while a lot of tilapia definitely died in the freeze, there are still plenty out there, unfortunately. That's the way it is at the moment. Man, there's lots of fish in there. Loads of these tilapia in here. Kind of shocking, actually, how many are in here. But uh, there's a deep pocket over there underneath the uh, pipeline. And it's so deep I can't see through it, which means it's a good spot to throw a lure. Oh, what's that chasing it? I think a tilapia is chasing it. Unreal. What is that? Is that a cichlid or a... Oh, it's a native cichlid and he's a big one. Look at that. He chased that down. Stop. Stop it. Beautiful. Beautiful fish to catch on a lure. You know, it's always uh, it's always a little too easy to catch these on bait sometimes. To have one like this on a lure is just fantastic. Just toss them back in. Wonderful, wonderful catch. Well, that'll just about do it for us today, guys. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell when you subscribe. That way, if I upload a video, you get the notification straight away. If you want to help support this channel, check out the link in the description to our Patreon page. Lots of cool stuff you get in return for becoming a patron of the channel. All of it's listed there below, so definitely have a look at that. Subscribe to our cooking channel as well, Wildlife's Outdoor Cooking. The link for that is on the home page of this channel. More is coming. Stay tuned, and until it's here, I will see you guys later.